Did you know that all rain, whenever you're riding, is actually hail? Even if it really isn't an ice chunk out of the sky, it feels that way. <laughs> it's true, and I didn't know that was a thing. As soon as I got my scooter, I went out and got some gear so that when I was commuting, and if I got stuck in, you know, riding in the rain, at least I'd be dry. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I might have been mostly dry, but it doesn't stop the raindrops from pelting you, and it feels quite awful. So I still just try to avoid driving in the rain if I can, um, rather than riding in it for that reason. And rain is gonna be like the underlying theme for today because it's one of the things that went wrong for me with trying to record this video. This was intended to be a moto vlog while I share these things that I've learned since I started riding, while also sharing some really cool spots in the area that I see on my rides. And the first thing was I broke my case for the camera. So that became an interesting thing. And I'm like, that's okay. I'll just ride around and gear up, gear down and everything else and still record. And I did that and then it rained. And so uh, uh, I ended up stuck out a little bit undercover and one thing after another, but here we are. We are in my backyard. We're gonna chat you, me, Marisa. And we're gonna chat some more about these things that I've learned along the way. Kind of in the same vein is, did you know that when you're riding, there's like these invisible things just in the air, but when you're riding, they pelt you. So I had this brilliant idea when I needed to make a quick trip to just not wear my jacket. I always have worn my helmet. There has not been a single ride without a helmet, but I was like, you know what? You see all these people that don't even wear a helmet. So I'm not gonna wear my jacket to go to this two miles up the road and back. And I ended up out a little further than I intended originally on that ride. And through this, I ended up kind of just, there's sand, there's whatever, and it just pelts your skin and it's uncomfortable. It kind of feels in that vein of riding around in the rain and I'll pass, I'll pass. So I'm all about the gear and more so now that I've learned that lesson. Another thing I've learned since I started riding is that when you're driving around in your car, I didn't know that the stoplights worked off of sensors. I just assumed they were all timed or didn't really think about it at all. But I have now been stuck more times than I care to admit sitting at a light running through three and four cycles because it just doesn't register my scooter i'm like trying to back up and go forward and everything else but they don't always see you so that was kind of kind of an interesting find there is something so cool about riding and i i know i'm not going to be able to describe it as well as i wish i could and when people would try to describe it to me i just didn't get it either but there is this sense of freedom that comes from riding on the two wheels things there's like the freedom and the sky somehow is bluer and the air is crisper even though the temperature doesn't actually change from you know whatever it is with your wind chill and all that like it still just feels a little more amped up so even with all this gear i really did not understand it until I started writing, but truly, like there is something that you just can't explain that really amps up the, the feelings of joy and all of that whenever you're writing. You know how people watching can be a lot of fun or just interesting if nothing else? Riding scooters has been like a different window into doing that, even though I didn't mean for it to be. I had taken my scooter to work. This is back when I first started riding. I went to lunch somewhere, so I've got my gear on. And this man approaches me and he's like, is that your scooter out front? And I'm like, oh gosh, like what happened to my scooter? I'm expecting something wrong. And he's like, oh, let me show you. So he like pulls out his phone. Apparently he's from out of town, a uh, older gentleman who's just showing me all these vintage, vintage scooters. He's just really an enthusiast who's just excited to meet somebody else that's into scooters too. So it was an interesting conversation. And like last night we went out to dinner and I had my helmet on a table and this woman approached the table out of nowhere and she starts talking to me because she liked the helmet and i'm telling you just these odd little things that whenever somebody sees that you're a rider they're like all into chatting with you or thinking you're crazy but one or the other and then like yesterday i had two little incidences with some kids one was signaling to like throttle and i'm like okay <laughs> so give it a little, little extra oomph for the kid and uh, another couple of kids on a bicycle, they were trying to get me to honk the horn and I'm like all about it. So, and then one time I remember this little girl, she's walking down the sidewalk and I'm parked, kind of pulling my gear off and she stops dead in her tracks. And she's like, kind of tugging at her mom. She's like, oh, Barbie would ride that. Just so funny. And she was like, do you think she'll let me honk the horn? Definitely left a smile on my face. And riding is like this sense of freedom and this joy and all that. And these little encounters add to that. I've been working my behind off at work. And so any of these little outlets that, you know, riding brings me, 
that's what this is all about. The flip side to the Barbie mobile, I guess, <laughs> is that sometimes I guess people think that I'm gonna putt around and everything and I'll be at a stoplight. And I notice that people are, seem to be a little more aggressive on occasion whenever they're in a car. So like they zip around and zip back and all that. And I'm like, what the heck? It's, I drive it like I do my car, so it's not like there's anything crazy, uh, but I don't notice people zipping around the same way that they do whenever I'm riding my scooter versus the car. So there's like a negative side to some of this stuff too, but they just don't get the joy, so it's on them. Another thing that I wasn't aware of like uh, from a people aspect is that uh, the first time I was out riding with someone else, there was this motorcycle and he drops his hand down and I was like, what's that about? So anyway, I get to the destination and I ask the person I was riding with and they were like, oh, that's like an acknowledgement. Hey, you know, fellow motorcycle person. And uh, it's kind of like this thing that you do as a tribe. We're both on two wheels with the same joys and the same sense of freedom and the same concerns on the road. <clears throat> Texting drivers. Um, and so it's just like that acknowledgement. I was like, man, I'm part of an invisible club. But then flip side of this is there are some motorcyclists that don't see this as legit and that's on them but you won't get that wave so i'm still like you know give fist bump and they don't return it so that's kind of awkward so i still owe you a moto vlog where i show you some really cool spots in the area but watch this video on how and why i started riding in the meantime